As ethical deer hunters, we always want to make sure the animal doesn't suffer. And that means making proper shot placement to put that animal down quickly and humanely. From a gun hunting standpoint, this can be done rather easily if you study deer anatomy. And that's something we've been preaching here for years at Deer and Deer Hunting. One of the most popular articles I've ever written was one that was called The Shot That Drops Deer on the Spot. As a hunter in central Wisconsin, I hunt a lot of small properties. And a lot of times you're not allowed to blood trail onto neighboring properties. And also you might have a deer that comes out that you wanna basically put down right away. Why wouldn't you wanna do that? How many times have you heard of the high shoulder shot? It's deadly for gun hunting, and I'm gonna explain it for you here today. When you're gun hunting on a high shoulder shot, right here, the scapula, that's what we're talking about, but how does that drop the deer on the spot? There's a little bit of a biology lesson here that's fascinating when you think about it. On the high shoulder shot, in scientific terms, we got them. all the muscles and nerve endings that come into the shoulder are called the brachial plexus. This is a center hub on any animal, and on deer, what you have is you have nerve bundles coming from five of the cervical spine areas, roots from the cervical spine that all come together right here in the shoulder blade. What that allows the deer to do, just like we are, we can move our arms. We have a brachial plexus right here. It's, we'll be able to grab things with our hands, we'll be able to move our arms. Same thing with a deer. It's gonna allow them to walk, it's gonna allow them to stand, it's gonna allow them to bend over and bed down. That's what those nerve bundles do. That's how that all operates. If you can disrupt that brachial plexus with the force of a bullet, that trauma basically will render that deer dead immediately. And I'm gonna show you how those nerve bundles come in here. A deer's spine consists of 26 vertebrae. Starting at the base of the skull, there are seven cervical vertebrae, followed by 13 thoracic vertebrae, followed by six lumbar vertebrae. But for this exercise, we are only talking about the seven cervical vertebrae and the five nerves that come out of the spine by those vertebrae and meet at the scapula. Those nerves are the musculotaneous nerve, the axillary nerve, the median nerve, the radial nerve, and the ulnar nerve. All of these nerves meet up at what is called the brachial plexus, which is the center housing of the nerves on the shoulder blade. Think about it as a breaker box in your home. If you flip that switch with a bullet, you will turn out the lights immediately. So when we go back to our model piece here, we can take this out right here, and we can look at the scapula is a triangular shaped bone. This ridge here is solid. Now with bow hunting, almost impenetrable. With a gun, very penetrable. All those nerve bundles coming down, attaching to that shoulder blade and allowing that leg to move. You disrupt this, those nerve bundles, they're no longer transmitting, they're dead. The deer is dead. You're killing the deer on the spot. So that's great for gun hunting, but what about bow hunting? You know what? It does happen on occasion that you take an arrow and you center punch that scapula. I would never, ever recommend this shot because you're asking for disaster. If you don't completely center punch that thing and cause the necessary force, that deer will recover from that injury. You're not gonna find it. The reason why it works so good for gun hunting is that bullet is destroying everything in its path. And when you're looking at the damage, the shock wave coming from that bullet, that's what's dropping that deer down. But with bow hunting, yes, it can happen, but again, never recommended. You wanna put that deer down quickly. You wanna drop that deer on the spot, learn the anatomy, aim for that brachial plexus, and you'll be amazed with the results. Hey everybody, there's a lot of brand new hunting products coming to the market right now in advance of January. I got my hands on a brand new one that's pretty exciting. This is the new Wicked Ridge NXT 400. We've been looking forward to unveiling this bow to you because this is a very high performance crossbow in a very economical price. So first let me tell you a little bit about it. When you look at Wicked Ridge crossbows, they are Wicked Ridge by 10 point. So as we know, 10 point makes really high end crossbows, but they also make the Wicked Ridge brand, which is much more affordable. I'm gonna tell you the price right away. This is a tick above $1,000. 
Now you might think that's a lot of money, but when you look at high performance crossbows, they're way more expensive than that. And when you look at low price crossbows, yeah, you might save a few hundred bucks, but you're not gonna get what they have built into this crossbow. So I'm gonna take it from top to bottom and tell you all about it. So the first thing that comes to my eye when I pick this crossbow up, it's very small. It's very narrow. It weighs, I think it's 7.4 pounds, which isn't bad at all for a crossbow. The crossbow itself is 33 inches long, very compact, and it's got so many high quality features built into it. Really caught my eye. Number one, the stock. This is a poly one molded stock. Really nice for this type of crossbow. The other thing that you're gonna get is you're gonna get the built-in AccuDraw. So that's built in, you can cock this crossbow, it comes back, it fits right into the crossbow, just like the 10 points, it's the exact same AccuDraw that you get on a 10 point, built into this crossbow, which is a much less price. The handle for it fits right intuitively right into the stock. It has a trigger, they call it a T5 trigger, a high-end trigger in this crossbow. It's three and a half pounds, really crisp, so that's one of the things I wanna show you guys is how this thing sounds, how fast it is, and just how it performs right out of the box. Very similar, I should say it's the exact same thing as a 10 point. Bring it all the way down. How slim and streamlined is that crossbow. Very cool. What I really like about these crossbows are they are perfect for a ground blind or a tree stand. If I'm in a tree stand, nice tight shot there. If I'm in a ground blind, you know, you don't have to open a lot of windows. Shoot right there. So let's give it a shot. That's the new Wicked Ridge NXT 400. I'm gonna tell you, that's a lot of crossbow for the money.